good day everyone today we going to change uh, home button and uh, the charging pin on iphone 6s previously i have changed uh, lcd on this thing and battery so these two screws they come out you got to stick something here so you can lift up the screen either your nail or tweezer if you have opened it before it won't be that difficult to open it but if it is a new one which is highly unlikely nowadays you don't get these models so there are two locks here we just slide it up and we remove the lcd first rather we should remove the battery disconnect the battery there are two screws one and two so remove those two screws sometimes the screws are short so we don't put them back all of them so i'm just going to remove the battery first you can use the plastic tool now you can remove the lcd connector with the tools it's much easier otherwise you can use your nails also so we're going to put the lcd aside although we have to change this but first we're going to change the charging pin all these screws that you see and all the components they're supposed to come out first we're going to remove this this is called some kind of engine i don't remember what was it it's opening after opening long time these phones then these three screws which are holding the part of earphone you can align them though this plastic cushion comes with it so keep the screw with it because it's a different screw then there are two screws which are holding these connectors for the like the arms for the charging pin and the whole connector flexi complete flexi please do subscribe my channel and please share my videos i do need your support on watch time my channel is growing but i'm behind watch time i'll really appreciate you guys watching my videos to the full and giving me some extra time and after these screws you see you can align them like that <clears throat> now we're going to disconnect the charging flex also and there is that aerial wire for the network there are supposed to be another screw here but it is broken that bracket so that's why i didn't put the screw last time there is one last screw left where are we going to put it into the sequence and we're going to remove aerial this is your ringer so you can put the ringer on a side and you can pull up this flexi it will come out like that two mics one two first we going to align this so then everything should sit properly so that's a missing screw that i was talking about the plastic bracket got broken there just press it so everything can fit <clears throat> a 
usually you should follow the last step when you're closing something and start from there so we're going to so yeah once putting the aerial just adjust everything back and there is let's put this screw so it can stop moving just adjust the brackets where you see that they are not aligned I think I'm putting the wrong screws. We will see just now. I think so, they are wrong screws. Because I forgot now where did I take them out from. <clears throat> so we're going to go in the sequence where we started. One. Three, four, five, six. can put the charging flex onto its place shouldn't be that difficult but sometimes this rubber things adjust them connected okay what is left now is this there is a small hook kind of thingy it should fit in there very easily so possibly you can't put it onto the wrong place the long screw See, this is what I was saying that maybe these two screws so we're done with the charging flexi let's put this back the last item while we changing the flexi and hopefully it should be working because i didn't test it and i put all the screws <clears throat> now we're quickly going to change the mouse i have a video made where you can change the complete screen and the battery and then we quickly going to change the home button or mouse same story you can put them sequence this plate comes out this is broken already There are two points that it's going to sit and it should close easily but it's giving problem i'm just gonna pause here to click this thing properly so it is connected now i had to press it 
a little bit now we're going to put this plate back adjust it if you have to do any type of adjustment that clip looks like no it's connected i thought it came off again the connector We're going to put the screws that we removed. It's working. The button you can feel that it's doing tick, but you never know once you put it in there, then you're going to see that if it is working. I'm gonna get the charging cable also to test it quickly, but first I'm going to these people that are buy the parts from i trust their quality so that's why i'm not that much worried that i'm closing it before testing it it's an old model so i'm not going to put all those kind of funny strips and stuff uh we'll disconnect the battery but no we will have to connect the battery because we're going to put this plate there <clears throat> now we're going to connect the LCD quickly I don't recommend doing this what I'm doing because first you must uh, connect the LCD and then you must connect the battery but I'm in a bit of rush doing it do the adjustment for it to connect properly once it is on its its place you can feel that tick noise there is no plate here so we are closing it as we opened it this top goes first like I told you there are like hooks clips then you press it And we're going to put those two screws back. Please, I need watch time. Give me watch time. I'll get the charger just now. I'm going to pause here. So, as you can see, charging. Home button still not working. So it could be another problem, but it has a virtual home button. So, I'm suspecting maybe the phone has some other problem. So that's how basically you change a, a charging flexi earphone ringer every flex all of the those things are on one flexi there is an old one please I need uh, watch time please help me out and that's how you change the home button also but unfortunately this isn't working that was a broken one so I will just see maybe it has some other issues or maybe the one that I got the new home button isn't working until next time goodbye thank you very much